Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I paint a stormy ocean scene. I'm going to link all the materials in the description box as per usual, but I'm also going to show you a few on here. So the brushes that you'll need today are a few medium sized brushes, a fine detail brush and a blending brush like I've got right here. I've also got a glass palette which is just a pane of glass from a photo frame but use whatever you have at home. And I'm just cleaning it quick before I start mixing my colours. The oil colours you'll need today are Thalo Blue, Thalo Green, Payne's Grey, Mars Black, Titanium White and Burnt Umber but just use whatever you have at home, like any substitutes. I've got a palette knife as well to mix my colours with and this container which contains the walnut oil that I usually use to wash my brushes after I've painted. I also have some poppy oil which I'm going to be using as my medium today. Today we're going to be painting a stormy sky so to start with I'm just mixing my sky colours. So that just consists of Mars Black, Payne's Grey and Titanium White for the two lighter shades. Now onto the colour of the ocean, so I'm taking some phthalo green, I'm going to take some Payne's grey, a bit of Mars black and some phthalo blue and mix it all together. I did add a bit more Mars black um, towards the end of the mixing just to make it a bit more dull. So firstly I'm dipping my brush into my medium and then I'm dipping it into the paint. I thought I'd just give you a demonstration of how I use my medium here. And then I'm starting to draw some rough shapes for the clouds. So what I like to do is bring all the shapes from the edges towards one centre point and then make the middle of the sky lighter and for it to get darker as you reach the outer edges. Whilst I'm doing this, I wipe my brush off quite regularly so that I don't get a lot of darker paint in the lighter areas and I'm dipping my brush in the medium before I dip it in the paint every single time.
notice when I'm doing this is I'm not blending the colours together yet, I'm just simply blocking in some colours and then I'm taking this blending brush. You can just use any blending brush that you have, even a makeup blending brush which is clean and then I'll lightly blend them all together but I'll make sure that I don't um, make the lighter colours muddy so I'll blend the lighter colours first and then work my way outwards towards the darker colours. Once that's all blended out, I'm just adding some more dark details on top and I'm going to make the lighter areas lighter and then blend it out again just to create some more depth. Now for the sea, I'm just taking a light grey colour that we use for the sky and just outlining the shoreline. Then I'm going to take a dark teal colour that we just blended earlier and I'm using this for the horizon line since you've got some dark clouds above it. And then as it comes further into the foreground, I'm going to make the sea lighter. When you're painting the ocean, you want it to mimic the sky a bit, so the outer edges are going to be darker and the middle is going to be a lighter shade of teal. So for this bit I'm just taking the titanium white on its own, not mixed with anything and just using this to paint some waves in the foreground. Then I'm going to be taking the darkest shade of teal that we've mixed and using that to paint the waves in the background. I'm going to do it with a fine detail brush, the smallest one that I've got and as the waves in the background get further away I'm going to make them smaller and closer together.
Okay, so I forgot to mention that I wasn't mixing the colour of the sand in the beginning because my palette is really small so it wouldn't all fit on. So now I'm just taking some burnt umber and titanium white and I'm mixing literally the tiniest bit of black in with this to make it slightly more muted and I'm using this to make the colour of the sand. So you want the edge of the water to just be painted with titanium white and this will just represent some foam and then you want to use the darkest shade of the sand colour that we just mixed and place that underneath the shoreline just to represent the shadow that it should cast. And there you have it, that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. Thank you if you followed along or just watched till the end. And I really hope that you had fun doing this and you learned something new. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.